to the fire danger now, August 24th, 2020. This was the scene along Highway 128 near Lake Berryessa. People killed, towns flattened, hillsides burned. And tonight we've just learned this fire may not have been an accident. Talk about a busy afternoon. You're watching the ABC 10 News at 5. Our Bria Love is here with us as well today. So many different stories we're following this afternoon, Bria. Absolutely, Chris. And the Markley fire was originally a smaller fire that merged with others and turned into the LNU complex fire. It destroyed nearly 1,500 structures. Six people died in that. And as ABC 10's Lena Howland reports, police now think at least two of those deaths were homicides. Moments ago, the Solano County Sheriff's Office just announced the cause of that fire was arson and that two of the deaths that happened within Solano County lines are now considered to be homicides. Sometime after the fire, the body of missing person Priscilla Castro was found in the Stebbins Cold Canyon area in Solano County. 29 year old Victor Sarantino out of Vacaville was arrested and charged with homicide in that case back in mid September, and he's been in custody ever since. But after eight long months, of investigating the fire, the sheriff's office and DA's office now believe where her body was found is actually the point of origin for the fire. Based on an extensive eight month long investigation, we believe Sarantino deliberately set the Markley fire in an attempt to conceal his crime. Within Solano County, the fire Sarantino is accused of starting also killed 82 year old Douglas Mai and 64 year old Leon Bone, both of whom died in their homes. Because of that, Sarantino now faces additional charges, including arson and the homicides of those two men. Sarantino is expected to be back in court on Friday to be arraigned on those additional very serious charges on Friday at 1:30. We will let you know what happens. 